Welcome back everyone to another Creative 101 tutorial and this time we are going to be building one of the Flintstone house versions. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the blocks we'll be using today is cut sandstone slab, smooth sandstone, sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, tough cobblestone, stone, warp planks, warp door, and of course, a warp gate. To start us off, we're going to grab our smooth sandstone and we're going to count one, two, three, skip three, and then place two. And then from there, what we're going to do on both sides, we are going to place a upside down smooth sandstone stair. Now what we're going to do is we are going to come over to the first upside down stair and we're going to count up three and go one, two, three, and then take the stair and then you're going to place a upside down and then count on this side. One, two, three, and place a one upside down right next to it. And now on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to count up one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're going to grab our smooth sandstone and we're going to place one upside down here and one upside down there. So what we're going to do now is start giving it the round look that is on the actual Flintstone house of Wilma and Fred Flintstone. So to do so, what we're going to do is actually come up here and place upside down and then a upright one and then place a sandstone in the middle and then right above it you're going to place a upright stair and what we're going to do is actually come over here and continue it now that we got the curve on both sides what we're going to do is continue a straight path from each stair of the smooth sandstone Quick pause in the video to say if you have not subscribed to my channel all you have to do is click the red button right next to my name and it will give you easy access to all my new videos as they come out. What we want to do now is come up and what we're going to do is actually place our cut sandstone all the way out to where it's even here and bring it all the way over to the same point on the opposite side and as well as bring it out by one. Now what we're gonna do is do the sides of the house and in doing so what we're gonna do is come to the side and we're gonna place upside down stairs and let's go back one, two, three, four, five. And then on the same Side, what we're going to do is place the upside down stairs, a smooth stone, and the upright ones. And continue it on the other side. On the back side, what we're going to do is just do a flat surface as that's how they were made. And that's why we did a flat surface in the front. So what we're going to do is come in and place our smooth sandstone where it meets the other side. Then what we're going to do is actually we're going to come in and do some artistic liberty and Bust out six here, 
and then we're going to come over and do the same on this side and bust out another six. And then take our upside down staircase and put it inside each window. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do in each window we are going to place two facing each other of the stairs in an upright position to give it more of that round look that is actually drawn in on the Flintstones cartoon. What we need to do now is actually continue our roof all the way to the back and circle it around where it overhangs by one. And then fill it in. What we're going to do now is actually start work on our door. And we're going to take one step in. Place our warp door down. And then with our warp planks. You're going to build all the way up. And fill in every gap that you're able to see. Through that door. Way. The next thing we're going to do is actually do our chimney. So what we're going to do is come even with the outer edge of the circle and we're just going to take it all the way up and then place our cut sandstone right on top okay what we're going to do next is actually start work on the garage and to do so what we're going to do is come right beside the chimney and we are actually going to place upside down stairs going down and we're going to take it down one two three and three makes it even with this and we're going to take it one more back and what we're going to do now is make it more flat on this side unlike we did with this where we did two curved sides and we're going to bring it up to here and that's where we're going to stop it. But on this top layer, we're actually going to put upright stairs. We are now going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to place down a block and then put down our upside down stairs where it comes even with our other side. And then from here, what we're going to do is just like the other side of the garage, we're going to go two up, then upright with the stairs. All right. And following that, what we're going to do is actually close in the back side of the garage. And then come on top with your roof, which is the cut sandstone slab, and just bring it all the way around where it goes one out on the front side, and then follow it through. Okay, and for the front, what we're gonna do is actually, like we did here, we're gonna put sandstone and bring it all the way up and bring it all the way up on this side. And then upside down, upside down, upright, upright, and then take the warp planks and just fill it in. And to make this more like the original, what we're going to do is add some pavers just going across at random and we're going to use cobblestone for that and then for right here for where the car drives we are going to put our driveway using stone We are now going to take our sandstone and come up from the door and go on either side of that block. 
your sandstone and then bring it over skip where your driveway comes and continue it out and continue it out on a ways this way and if you would like you could even start to wrap it around the house itself and then in the pathway add your warped fence gate and make sure your pavers line up as well as your driveway I went ahead and added in some red trees as there was always like red and blue trees drawn around the building in this funky looking way and of course crimson trees grow in that funky looking way and now this is our Flintstone house I believe it came out amazing it is not built to live in if you do want to build something like this to live in I would make it wider but I wanted to keep it small as it adds a nice addition to your Minecraft world mostly for looks I would say I'm glad y'all watched till the end and took a trip to the Stone Age to build Fred and Wilma's house from the Flintstones and I hope you enjoy the build in your Minecraft world and as always stay crafty y'all